Square Garden tonight should be a good one. Who gets that shining moment in the game of the great series? I experienced it. I know how it feels to walk out of that octagon at MSG with a championship. Will you get that moment tonight? Oh, nice kick. She is cut above the eye. Double jab there. How are they standing? What a flying knee to the head. Here's the kick blocked by Machida. See, what do you do? You got to move. You got to shrimp. You got to get off on a hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. All right, hammer fist here by Chuck Liddell. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Oh, short uppercut in the clinch by the sheep. Nicely done. All right, well, he rocked it pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back. I mean, blood in the water, you gotta go and get it. You gotta go find the finish. You cannot let him off the hook like that, because now he will be motivated to try to go and hurt you as you hurt him. Oh, he kicked him in the head. Man, this is fun to watch if you like striking as these fighters go back and forth. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job following the game plan. Good punch, Lance. Certainly showing off some good hands here tonight. Now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on beat street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's gonna do to stay in this fight. Jeez, you can hear that. <laughs> oh, big left hook there! 20 seconds to go in round one. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end. Yeah, and, you know, when you got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you got to try to find a way to stop them. He needs to try to get a takedown or something because the more he's standing, the more he's going to have to deal with this cut, and now, all the blood that's coming from the cut. All right, so there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week, and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance, he took it, he landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. As his opponent postures up, he opens it. Side control now. All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler, this is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestlers love control. Right. And to have your upper body free and your leg able to hold your opponent. That's as good a punch as he's thrown on him. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the one that land perfect. And that one landed perfect. Well, no denying the durability on the other side, but at this point, you just got to find that kill shot. Right? A lot of times that comes with reps, that comes with taking your time. You get excited, and you want to finish because you think it's right there, but at times you just overswing and you miss a lot. He needs to slow down if he wants to get his opponent out of this fight.
He needs to shove the knees. Get his opponent's knee off of his belly so he can get to his feet. Machine is cut on his nose, manageable for a while, maybe not so much now. That thing is pouring blood. Making all these shots count. Like that. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Soon. Well, a really good second round. Oh, another one. Oh, how good is that? The oh, game is starting to be well. Oh, my goodness. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. So, what a moment in this man's career. A huge finish in front of a capacity crowd. After party's gonna be on fire. How about it? I mean, I'm just sitting here stunned. Because to watch a young athlete have a performance like this was really amazing. The finishing instincts, his ability to close the show, it was next level. It was amazing, John.